Hi, I'm Trawler Specialist Jeff Merrill in West Palm Beach, Florida, aboard the Nordhaven 55 Terrapin. Terrapin is a 55 I've been very involved with on several occasions. Had the good fortune to spend some time aboard her in British Columbia. The beautiful distinctive green was done in Port Townsend, Washington by the second owners. The current owner has done a fantastic job looking after her. The green hull is just stunning. We have a John Deere main engine. There's a lugger wing engine, Northern Lights generator, ABT track stabilizers, bow and stern thruster by side power. It's a great layout. Let me give you a little bit of the details as we go through. I would like to point out that the price and the specifications are on jmys.com. So you can always look there for current information. Varnish cap rail, curved stairway here that takes you up to the boat deck. I'm passing a sink and a console. We'll wrap around and come back here. So on the way up to the boat deck, very easy to get here. Good handrails. There's an Airtex crane. The dinghy is outboard on the starboard side. Life raft is mounted right here. EPIRB right here. Throwing strobe when we need it. There's a ring up forward. This is a custom mount here to hold the crane up so you can pass underneath it if you wanted to. And then up to the flybridge. dry stack exhaust through this column right here. Now, some of the Nordhaven 55s have a hard top. When this boat was ordered, that was not something that they chose. Later on, this folding bimini top was added, and it really makes a lot more flexibility for you. If it's windy, you can put it down. If you want the shade protection for rain, you've got it to put out. Good Venturi up here. All the electronics you need, VHF radio, stereo, two Furuno displays autopilot, some different repeaters, compass, your engine gauge is analog. You also have a Murphy gauge, engine controls, stabilizer control, engine shift, windlass, balance, stern thruster. Two Todd helm chairs, a good bench seating area with a fiberglass table. So you have a very good entertaining area up here. Great visibility all the way around to see where you're going. I find it's just easier to go backwards down these stairs. So I'm gonna do that. The Walker Bay dinghy is over on the outboard side of me here with the Yamaha outboard. Again, life raft, EPIRB, life sling, a lot of safety gear here. Let's work our way forward. So we wrap around the pilot house on the port side here. Little step down, two steps down, good handrails. Up high, there's some extra rails were added on the Portuguese bridge. You have the hose pipes that are recessed in so you don't catch a pant leg on them. Diesel fuel fill, Dutch door, handrail. As we wrap around, get up to the front of the Portuguese bridge, some good large built-in storage lockers forward on both sides. There is a hatch right here, which I'll try to show you later, that opens up into the owner stateroom, lets air come in there and ventilation. It's a great light and ventilation coming in there. Big pantograph door here that secures off the foredeck. Coming up a couple of steps past the Blackwater waste discharge and a freshwater wash. There is a shore power connection right here on the starboard side. Three Lumar hatches. Freeman hatch for your chain locker, easy accessible there. Maxwell 3500 windless. Big rock anchor, chain stopper. This is a good amount of space up here. It's great for relaxing, good tall railing. And then from here, we could go into the pilot house, but I want to keep working our way back aft and continue kind of a, a circumnavigation, if you will, of the deck. Big storage lockers here for the Portuguese bridge. This is a docking station on the starboard side. So I have autopilot control, bow and stern thruster, windlass, engine start and stop, and engine shift. So when I'm docking the boat, I can easily do that from up here if I don't want to dock from the flybridge. As I come back aft, again, these extra handrails here, this is the entry into the pilot house with a Dutch door. Handrails were added throughout the boat, a lot of extra handrails. It's a couple steps back down. All of these are on a nice diamond non-skid. It's very comfortable for walking on. Recessed spring line hose pipe here, diesel fill in the vents, some courtesy lights mounted outboard, extra rails along the side, freeing ports down in the lower level to help get the extra water out if you're offshore a boarding gate for the dock. This is gonna be your primary entrance. You also can come in where I started on that boarding gate from the swim platform. As I come back into the cockpit, again, another hose pipe, storage locker, 
another docking station right here. Same controls as up forward. Hot and cold, fresh water, cockpit shower here, emergency tiller access. We could drop down and look at the lazarette. I find it easy to grab onto the rail up for the boat deck to position myself to hop down into the lazarette. A lot of important equipment down here. You do have access to the engine room through this door. The fire suppression system, C fire, the Magnusine inverter charger. There's also an inverter bypass system. Scuba tank rack storage there, air conditioning compressors, Airtex crane, gearbox. The blue box is the Bauer dive compressor. You can see the steering system. Those are the AccuSteer steering pumps, hydraulic pumps. The stern thruster is back there. Also an air conditioning pump. Rudder angle determiner. The Glendinning shore power retriever back aft. More air conditioning units back aft on the starboard side. Behind these doors, these lockers, are the batteries. And then forward on the starboard side are the battery select switches. Also easy access to so some fuses. Here's a view of what it's like if you are coming in from the engine room or want to go from the lazarette into the engine room. Nicely blocked off door right there. And then you again, you have the fire suppression system, the inverter charger, outboard, which is not easy to see here, is the Webasto diesel heater. There is just a lot of area in here, and this ends up being a great place to store extra gear, folding bicycles, extra storage gear, spare parts, etc. A storage console right here with a single basin sink and then a Dutch door to get into the salon. Let's go take a look inside. Entering into the salon through the Dutch door, it is just very warm and comforting in here. There are two custom chairs on the starboard side. These have been on for one or two ownerships, kind of airplane, classic airplane seats. The table is a starburst pattern large table. There are a couple of what they call the Tony chairs, very heavy chairs sitting around so you can seat a lot of people for dinner. There's a granite countertop separating the galley. The dry stack exhaust is coming up through this column. There's carpeting over the teak and spruce sole, overhead lockers in the galley. There's a flat screen television lifts up here. I have the shades down just to avoid the distractions outside. There are steps up here that go up to the pilot house. This is sort of a Landing area here, down two steps. From here, I can go down to the engine room, which we'll get to in a second. And then inside this area is the galley. There's a pantry locker right here. This hallway enters into the owner stateroom. Sub-zero refrigerator, freezer drawers, granite countertop, bronze trash compactor, overhead lockers, GE, microwave convection oven, four burner propane stove and oven, GE dishwasher, double basin sink, Storage lockers above, spice rack right here. Lots of extra drawers and locker storage space. Another locker here. And I'll take the camera and just sort of point things out as I go down. Come down these steps. Outboard on the starboard side is a panel that opens up to give you access to the stabilizers. And then you come down to the utility room. This is the area just forward of the engine room. There's the engine room door. There's a large storage locker. And then you have your laundry appliances as well as a top load freezer. Bosch Laundry, GE top load, Bosch dryer, some more lockers and storage, fire suppression control, and then from here, we can go into the engine room. From the utility room into the engine room. Stand-up headroom, again, about 5'11", so just, just squeeze in here. Forward is a supply tank. There are four fuel tanks on the Nordhaven 55. They're all fiberglass. Two are forward and two are in the engine room. The engine room fuel tanks have sight glasses. All of the fuel tanks are gravity-fed to this forward supply tank. The supply tank then becomes the supply manifold, feeds the generator, feeds the main engine. The wing engine has its own special fuel tank. Along the starboard side, there are manifolds down below these lockers, dual Raycor fuel filters for the main. It's the John Deere main, stainless steel rail for protection. Generator has its own Raycor fuel filter. There's a transfer fuel filter. 
Behind me is the fire suppression system, this red bottle here, the wing engine, there's also an oil change system. You can make it back through, back aft, you can get around all the way around the engine. Lugger 984 diesel engine here. The wing engine is the classic Nordhaven V drive, so the transmission is forward, shaft comes down back below. The wing engine fuel tank is back outboard right here, it's a separate day tank, supply tank. Muffler right here, bilge pump, access from the salon right there, Northern Lights 20kW generator, the Lazaret access is right back through here. And then I can go forward around the engine room on the port side, so let me take the camera, show you, this is the supply tank hydraulics for the stabilizers, and then you come back forward. Good access to the engine mounts and come on back up to the hallway and you're back out into the utility room. Forward from the galley, you enter into the owner's stateroom. This whole lower level passes all the way through, so you can come through right into this landing on up to the guest stateroom. It's all on one level, which makes it great. You can also get here coming down the stairs from the pilot house. But you have an island berth offset. This is the white laminate interior. Now there are three port lights. There's some teak here. There's some good teak trim. It's very inviting, fresh, and open with the white laminate. It's not the typical wood that you see. Large hanging locker here. You could put a flat screen television here. The head is right on suite. There's double mirrors in the door here. We come into the head. Tecma toilet, a big storage area back behind, teak and spruce soles, sink, medicine cabinet, and this one has the large tub. And I'll let me just do a quick show you what the tub looks like here. So good sized tub, and it also has the shower fixture. So you have your choice. All right, back into the owner stateroom. Again, this bed walks around on both sides, and then I'm gonna come forward and show you the guest stateroom. I could have arrived into this owner stateroom from the offset from the galley or coming down the stairs from the pilot house. Pocket door here to close this off. We're right above the basement, the machinery space. There is a beautiful desk right here. Again, the white laminate with the teak trim. Fantastic headroom in here. Guest stateroom has its own head up forward with a shower and a toilet, sink, very well lit, overhead hatches, storage underneath, medicine cabinets, stand-up shower with the bifold door, Tecma toilet, you can enter from either door, and as I show you the bed, it's a double wide bed, hanging locker forward, overhead hatch, again, beautiful teak and spruce floors. This is a great area. I wanna show you there's a special thing. If you can come over here and look forward, you can convert this into a suite. This was one of the things that Nordhaven did on the early Nordhaven 55s. This, this will close off, get the bolt up here, to make a private stateroom and an office. So if you're working late and you wanna have the privacy of the stateroom in the office, that opens up and closes here. This door then opens, so we have a separation of space, or this is what's really, Interesting, I think. You open this back up, close this door, this pulls down, this slides over, locks in place, and now you have this beautiful suite. Look how much extra room you get by opening that up. I have access to the head right here if I want it, but it keeps it as one big larger cabin. So this is a great guest stateroom. I wouldn't be, I've stayed here. This is a great guest stateroom. Below is the basement. Let me show you how you do that. Quick access right here. Lift okay. this up, turn on the light, go down there. I'll get the camera and do a shoot around to show you what's down there. A convenient ladder with four steps gets you down into the basement. This basement area below the guest stateroom is comprised of four chambers. Chamber three is where we came down and there's the ladder on the starboard side and a workbench shelf over on the port side. There's some drawers in there and some storage down below. Great for spare parts, for tools. The second chamber, Second one back from the bow has two large shelves on it, each with AGM batteries. Those are for the bow thruster and for the windlass. Those shelves also can 
serve as extra storage space. And the bow thruster is all the way forward. You see the, the tunnel there. This goes all the way up to the stem and you're underneath the guest head here. Looking back aft along the starboard side, you see there's some breakers and various electrical parts that are needed for storing those batteries. Again, you work your way back to this entry, chamber three, a vise with the shelf and the workbench area over on the starboard side, the ladder. And as you come down, you do see a light switch and a blower switch and breaker for the windlass and for the bow thruster. The Chamber four, the aft chamber, has the water maker on the port side shelf, also some of the water maker components, a torrid 40 gallon hot water tank. Behind that tank is the accumulator, two fresh water pumps, the Headhunter Mach 5s, and the manifold you see there for fresh water. Here's a view again looking forward from that back chamber aft the bench with the vise on the port side, and there's the ladder that takes you up back to the guest stateroom. That's the basement, guest stateroom, owner stateroom, all on one level. From here, we can go up to the pilot house or go head back aft to the uh, galley salon area. The stairs along the starboard side from the salon lead up to the pilot house. The pilot house is your primary operation station, and this is a very wide and long pilot house. Back behind me, a day head. Not very common on a boat this size. There's a Tecma toilet, a sink, port light, a hatch above, a little bit of storage, a mirror, so very convenient. And speaking of convenient, there's a captain's stateroom outboard here in the back section of the pilot house. So there's a wide bunk there, windows that open, a large uh, hanging locker. There's storage underneath the bed. There's also a control battery for the Navcom electronics, a ditch bag. You can see that from the captain's stateroom, you do have a view forward into the pilot house. As I come back into the pilot house, I can continue along the starboard side and go down the stairs to the guest stateroom, or I can come back into the pilot house. Generous settee back aft comfortable place for being the backseat driver. Great place to be sitting. Starburst table again right here. Good solid table. You're up on a raised landing so you have good sight lines looking over the shoulder of the people driving the boat. Drawers and lockers outboard. This could be used as a chart area. The Stid Helm chair also has a jog lever for the autopilot so you can easily adjust your course from right here. Stainless steel destroyer helm. All of the navigation electronics are easy to reach. A couple of things overhead. You have the wing engine. VHF radio water maker, another uh, display, and then along here, VHF radio, wing engine control, some repeaters, windshield wipers, two autopilots, two very large Furuno displays, a Nordhaven compass, another jog lever here, FLIR night vision, windlass, engine shift control, bow and stern thruster, main engine, generator, Maritron, track stabilizers, and a great grouping of electrical breakers all along here. AC, DC, your 12 volt, 24 volt, and 120, 240. The black overhead panels really reduce the glare at night, which makes it much easier for underway. Both of the Dutch doors have a screen, so you can open these up and keep the bugs out. So along the starboard side, you have stairs up to the pilot house, going down below up to the staterooms. And this is a pilot house you're going to really enjoy operating the boat. Very well set up, very easy to get to everything. I love this pilot house. Thank you for joining me aboard Terrapin today. I would like to note that John Hoffman is my co-listing broker and you can get in touch with either me or John to get aboard. You have a pretty good idea now of what a great special boat she is. John and I would love to meet you, take you through the boat and let you see for yourself. We do have all of the information, photos, 360 tour, the drawing layouts, a lot of details that you can study online. Please review that, please look it over, and please give us a call. We do showings by appointment. We'd like to make your appointment, so we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for your time today, and we'll wait for the phone to ring or look for your email or text. Thank you.
Hey, Trawler friends, thank you for watching the video. We love doing these videos. It's great having you on board. Great being out on the water. We do have over 100 videos on the JMYS YouTube channel. If you would like to subscribe, you can click the button. If you'd like a reminder on when the next video is going to show up, you can click the bell. That'll give you a reminder. We really appreciate it when you give us those thumbs up. Thank you very much for that. We also like your comments. We like to respond to your comments. So please keep watching. Thank you for your encouragement. If you'd like to watch some other videos, we have a couple of them over here to click on. And there's always something new coming on the JMYS YouTube channel. Stay tuned and we'll stay in touch. Look forward to watching you and you watching me. Thank you.